Hey, what's up you guys? I just wanted to show you a video and update on my car. Um, I finally got new wheels. If you guys, you know, were wondering about when I would do that. I've had this car, this car maybe, uh, yeah, going on four years now. And I finally got new wheels. They're pretty sweet. They're just an off brand, so I got them really cheap, but they're good wheels. And the guy was cool um, that I bought them from is like local up here in NorCal. So I figured I'd um, get them through him. But yeah, I got some sick wheels, flat black. I kept them 18 inches still but they're a 9.5 inch wide, so it's pretty wide. Um, I was wanting them flush with the body, but um, the guy at the wheel place said uh, these would be perfect, and yeah, they, they're pretty cool. They, they just stick out maybe a tiny bit away from the body. Yeah, I don't know too much about like wheels and all that shit, you know, just more like performance stuff, but um, Yeah, they they kind of stick out a little bit from the body, but it still looks sick and uh, Yeah, I just got those on today, but um, On Monday in a couple days, I'm turning my car into the body shop and I'm gonna get the whole car actually repainted because when I first bought this car like four years ago I drove up to Washington to go visit my brother and it was in the winter time I was driving through Portland Seattle you know all that on I-5 and they spray down the roads with like salt and all kinds of shit you know so you aren't sliding around in ice and snow which, I mean, it's safe, but it totally destroys the paint on cars. And um, my first year owning this car, uh, the paint got so fucked up bad. It, it, like, pretty much that salt on the ground or whatever they spray on the roads, it, like, sandblasted the whole car, the whole front end. So the roof, the hood... The front bumper, two mirrors, even the sides of the car have little uh, tons of like, uh, what is it, chips and all that, little scratches. And that's just from, you know, the salt and all that from the roads. And I know it looks pretty, it, I mean, it's clean as fuck, my car, but I don't go too close into the paint because... Yeah, it got totally messed up from that drive through Washington and Oregon in the winter time. Um, I'll show you a little bit of it, the front end. If you can see it in the video, all those little like white specks on the hood is all uh, from, you know, they're all chips. And sh stuff like that is all over the front end, uh, front end of my car front bumper, hood, mirrors, yeah, the hood scoop got it, you know, it, it just, for a 2017, I mean, it shouldn't look like that, you can see the hood, obviously, just from the video now, when I kind of get closer to the car, looks like snowflakes, <laughs> but anyways, I'm finally going to get it painted on uh, Monday, which is you know, two days from now, but uh, the, they're going to keep my car probably three weeks, and I'm sure they're going to repaint the whole car, because, you know, like I said, the roof, whole, both sides of the car, hood, front bumper, you know, all that got messed up, so you know how the body shop guys are, try to get as much money as they can from insurance, so They'll probably be, uh, I'm sure, painting the whole front. Not just the front, yeah, the whole car pretty much. Maybe not the trunk, but yeah, everything else. 
So I'll have a brand new paint job here in three weeks. It sucks I'm gonna be, uh, you know, without this car for a while because I love driving this STI. They finally have a local E85 station um, in NorCal. I'm not talking about Sacramento. That's not NorCal. NorCal is Northern Sacramento. So that means Redding north to the border. That's NorCal. <clears throat> that's, I try, I work in Sacramento, so I try to tell people like, that's not NorCal. NorCal is, you know, Redding area north of that. So, uh, just for you sat guys, I just wanted to <laughs> let you know, but yeah, finally I have E85 up there. I don't have to run uh, gas cans all the time from Sacramento and uh, always pouring gas cans in at E85. So it makes things easier for me as well. So I always ran straight E85 all the time, 100%. And it's just nice having it up here more local for me. So um, I can just fill it up and go. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys are doing okay during this quarantine where we are stuck inside. Do the best with the time you have. Just think one of the positives we do have is we are with our family more, you know, and at home we can get done a bunch of stuff that we need to do. Uh, luckily... I don't know if you guys know, but I love to do weightlifting and powerlifting. So, you know, with everything closed, luckily I have like a home gym up to 405 pounds of weight. So I can still go really heavy. Right now I'm just maintaining, you know, my strength and all that. And, you know, which is cool. I'm fortunate I have that, but here's a little glance of the home gym. I keep it right next to my car where I leave in the garage. As you can see, pretty much everything you'll need, you know, for a full body workout. So yeah, that's pretty sick. This is my other, my second love in my life besides the car, uh, this is the second right here. Maybe it's the first over the car, but uh, yeah, I hope you guys are making the best time out of this quarantine. Stay healthy, the best we can do, just, you know, wash hands, always uh, wear a mask, and uh, wash hands again, and hand san sanitizer. I work in the healthcare field, well, at a hospital, so uh, I know all about this, what's going on. It's scary if you get it, but, um, you know, if you're healthy, you should be okay. Just always wash your hands and keep with the social distancing of six feet or more, and, uh, we should be all okay, and yeah, I hope you guys have a good night. Thanks for watching. Bye.